question to you, Dr. Jackson, is what is a biblical worldview? And why is it important to teach when it comes to science? Well, um, biblical worldview, despite what different churches or church group or church folk might say, is a worldview dictated by the Bible. And uh, this, this gets fuzzy when people talk about whether the Bible is allegorical or meant to be taken literal. I think uh, a wise old man of God once told me that the safest way to interpret Scripture is in the light of other Scripture. And I also think there's wisdom in looking at the context. I um, mean, sometimes Jesus would say something that he didn't necessarily make, mean for you to be taking literal. He said, I'm going to tell you a story now. And he's telling you it's a story. Or where the Bible says that, you know, the ten horns were ten kings of ten nations. And the Bible clearly, by context, means what we're talking about is symbolic of something else. Uh, but Genesis which is where uh, our scientific biblical worldview that usually comes up is coming up in the Bible, is uh, meant to be taken as literal, scientific, and historical, accurate, literal events. Uh, it's written in Hebrew uh, literal narrative style, not in lyrical poetic style. And so when you just look at the context and you also look at the, uh, the language translation, well, that's a biblical worldview where, where the Bible is dogmatic, that's the only time you're dogmatic, where the Bible speaks and says this is literally true, that's the time when you put your heels in and say, yes, this is literally true. So that's a biblical worldview to me. My next question uh, is basically, it's, it's along similar lines, is how can true science, using the scientific method, be used to confirm the Bible? Oh, my. Uh, well, on the gravestone of Werner von Braun, the head of NASA, who brought us to the moon in the 1960s, his tombstone says, it quotes that verse in Psalms, the heavens declare the glory of God. And also in Romans 1, Paul says that the visible things of this world testify to the invisible things. So really, all of science all of science is a testimony to the biblical worldview. So teaching all of science is good. In Ecclesiastes 3, the Bible says, he has put the world into their hearts. So it's natural. It's, it's inspired by God for us to wonder about the universe and reality and how everything works. Uh, I, I think that's a good science mandate for us. But really, Science and fact and data and evidence has never gone against the Bible. It's just different people's interpretation of the evidence, certain scientific opinions and theories that have gone against the Bible. And actually, uh, once more is known, we find out that this data uh, never, never really did uh, um, uh, support an anti-biblical view at all. But the more we find out, the more we realize and see uh, by logic that it actually always did back up the Bible.